Without a doubt, there are some huge issues with the modern day Pokemon games. You know, Scarlet and Violet had a ton of random lag, a bunch of random glitches. I feel like the series has been super experimental recently, and I just have some thoughts about like the state of the modern Pokemon games. So I wanna say that I'm extremely hopeful for the future of the franchise. I think they're going in a good direction, so I don't want this video to be like, I'm just totally bashing the Pokemon series and games and stuff like that. I genuinely like them a lot, and I feel like they're going in a good, positive direction. Also, if you guys don't mind leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, and commenting down below, it really helps a lot, and I really, really do appreciate it. So, first of all, I'm gonna start off with the lack of, like, time they have to create some of these Pokemon games, and, like, the amount of Pokemon games they release within a specific amount of time. So, a couple of years ago, back when Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, Legends Arceus were coming out, there was just so many Pokemon games coming out, like, back-to-back, -back, which you could definitely tell that the games kind of lacked a certain feel to them. In my opinion, modern day Pokemon games just don't have that magical feel. In my opinion, the best Pokemon game that we've had recently was Legends Arceus. That game felt more ambitious and more unique and original, which is a great thing, because a lot of the games have been having like a stale playthrough where it's like the exact same thing, which I get a Pokemon game is supposed to be like that, right? Like you're supposed to start off with nothing. You're supposed to get a Pokemon from the professor or whatever and battle your way towards the top by catching new Pokemon. But Legends Arceus, in my opinion, did feel refreshing. And I really love Legends Arceus. It's the best Pokemon game on the Switch, in my opinion. Leave a comment down below what your favorite Switch game for Pokemon is. But anyways, if you don't already know, like, Game Freak isn't the only company that produces Pokemon games. Like, they can allocate these different games to different companies, like Ilka, which they made the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl game, and it looks like they're gonna be making more Pokemon games in the future. And a new company was created called Pokemon Works, which is like a subsidiary company that is working alongside Ilka, so I think that the future Ilka games will actually be better than Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, but they just have a limited amount of time to create Pokemon games, and I think it shows. I definitely think it showed with um, Sword and Shield, 100% with Scarlet and Violet. Those games were 100% rushed, and they needed more time. Those games had a stupid amount of random bugs and glitches. But I'm gonna get to the Scarlet and Violet stuff just shortly here, so bear with me. Pretty much with Pokemon games, multiple games are typically being created at one time, not by like Game Freak specifically, but just like throughout several, you know, different companies making different Pokemon games that they're given or allowed to make, I guess. A lot of these modern day AAA games take like five or more years to develop. Like think about Zelda or, or some of the other like games like Final Fantasy and stuff like that, like those are some great looking games and they it shows. But the thing with Pokemon is they have to release a brand new generation every three years or so, like within roughly roughly every three years is when they release a new generation, but alongside that, in between the every new generation game we get, they have to release different games in between them, like side games like such as remakes or Legend series, which I'm really enjoying the Legend series, hopefully Legend ZA is something special, but what I'm trying to say is like they just have they have a lot on their shoulders they have to produce a lot of games in order to keep up with the hype and everything because Pokemon is literally the biggest franchise on the entire planet without a doubt like literally I'm not even trying to say that as like an expression they're genuinely literally the biggest company on the planet and they're a machine they're producing so many things products like Pokemon cards plush t-shirts merchandise of any kind they're doing a ton of stuff so it's not just the games that they have to like focus their time and money on it's also all the other side stuff that they have to do which i don't know how much that actually has to do with the production of like games i'm assuming it doesn't really bother you know the production of video games all that much but you can't just give you can't just assign a ton of people to one specific Pokemon game and expect it to be like the best Pokemon game at all time. You need to have like time to develop a good thought out storyline and make sure the game obviously plays well. Like let's go to Scarlet and Violet now. So Scarlet and Violet was generation 9 of Pokemon. That's huge. There's a brand new generation. A brand new generation of a Pokemon game brings about a ton of new designs, which I think the designs were pretty lackluster for generation 9. But there were some cool, there were definitely some cool Pokemon in there. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, Baxcalibur, great Pokemon. Tinkaton, awesome Pokemon. But, you know, some other Pokemon are, uh, pretty, uh, bland. I genuinely can't believe they released Scarlet and Violet in the state that it was released. I get that it's something new. It's a fully open world game, which they've obviously been trying to lean towards the open world stuff in the past couple of years. You know, starting off with Sword and Shield had just a slight bit of open world in it. And then Legends Arceus was pretty much fully open world as well, so so was Scarlet and Violet. So, and what I've always said is the Switch era of Pokemon games has been extremely experimental. Every single game is completely different than the last, which should be the case because it's a new game, but like every single game is just so different, completely different. 
and I know that there are a ton of things that go into a Pokemon game. You have to redesign every single Pokemon that's going to be in that game. You have to make a whole map, character designs, animations, you know, there's a, there's a ton. And when I say a ton, like, I mean a lot. But with the biggest franchise on the entire planet, you would have expected more out of Scarlet and Violet. They just had so many bugs, glitches, and like, the open world was fun. I love open world, and I really am hoping for more better open world Pokemon games, but it's no secret, no doubt, that some of the open land was barren, and it felt like you're in the middle of nowhere, which, yeah, it's true, you are in the middle of nowhere, but it was just like, this. it was like a copy and paste almost. Like, like think of like Breath of the Wild, like that's an open world map, and it's definitely a barren wasteland, but it just feels more alive and it, you could explore like abandoned ruins and stuff like that. It's just, it just felt really cool. I know Legends Arceus did have some of that. I think Legends Arceus was definitely a better map design than Scarlet and Violet. It definitely felt a lot less like barren and stuff. But in the future Pokemon games, open world, I'm really hoping that it's more in depth and just more stuff to interact with around the map, like even more random towns or houses or buildings, just whatever, farms. I don't know, but I just definitely want more out of the open world. It's just crazy that games like Persona 5 or Dragon's Quest, you know, games that are kind of similar to Pokemon in a way, that are way less popular in means of like the franchise and sales of their games, you would expect Pokemon to be like the best of the best. And it's, it's no secret that it's not. And also guys, I'm not hating on Pokemon. I love Pokemon. It's my favorite, you know, franchise. It's my favorite video game franchise. I think they're great games. I obviously like Pokemon or else I wouldn't have a channel pretty much based around Pokemon entirely. But it's no secret that their games just haven't had that magical feel to them recently. And I also feel like the modern day games just lack that challenge. Like older Pokemon games were definitely more challenging, but they weren't too challenging to where it was like, oh crap, I don't want to play this. Like some games are just so challenging that you just want to like set your controller down or your Game Boy, whatever, and you just don't want to play it because it's just annoying. The old Pokemon games are fun challenging, like you want to go discover more, you want to upgrade your Pokemon. So I can't tell if I really like how you don't have to battle random trainers in Scarlet and Violet. I kind of like it because it does get annoying when you're just, you're just trying to advance in the storyline and you run into somebody and you have to fight them. But that also encourages you to build a better team and it's more challenging. But then at the same time, it's like, it's kind of annoying. But with Scarlet and Violet, you could just do a ton of those terror raid battles and then get a ton of XP candies and stuff like that and just rank up your Pokemon like crazy, which was pretty easy to get like my entire team to level 100, which was cool to have a level 100 team pretty quickly. But at the same time, it's like, this was almost too easy to get this. And now I could just transfer like other Pokemon to, you know, the game and just upgrade them like crazy as well. Another thing that I really kind of dislike about modern day Pokemon games is like the beginning of it, it's explaining the entire thing over again, which most of the people that are buying Pokemon games have already played several Pokemon games and they already know how to do all this stuff. Like Legends Arceus was the worst opening to a game I think I've ever played. It was like an hour long before you could actually start playing the game. The tutorial was ridiculous. Even though that is my favorite game on the Switch for Pokemon, I think the introduction to that game was just terrible. Like, they need to add, like, a skip or a fast-forward button or something like that. But at the same time, it's like, I know you gotta be introduced to, like, the new professor, the new characters, you know, your enemy, your your friends, and stuff like that. Or your rival, I guess I shouldn't say enemy. But at the same time, it's like, dude, I already know this. Make it quicker. Or even if they just make it, like, within a five-minute quick type of introduction. I think modern-day Pokemon game introductions need to do something better than what they have been. Because it's just so repetitive. And I know, but at the same time, it's like, I know that some people are getting these new Pokemon games for the first time, or like young kids are getting into it for the first time. So they kind of have to do that. So that's something that's not like a huge issue. It's just annoying for like the long-term players, I think. Some of the modern Pokemon battles look a little bit lifeless. I know that they have to render and animate so much with every brand new Pokemon game, especially the Pokemon battles. But the thing is, that's a huge point of the game. Like, one of the biggest parts of the game is battling other Pokemon. And some of the animations, the idle animations specifically, just look a little lifeless. And some of the animations when they're actually attacking is like, this doesn't even make sense. Sometimes they just kind of sway, you know, back and forth. They just stare at you. It's like you're just waiting for the next turn, which you are, essentially, but it just needs to feel a little bit more alive, in my opinion, just more dynamic, rather than just having them them stay right there. I really did appreciate, though, how Scarlet... I really did appreciate, though, how in Legends Arceus, it was like a free camera movement. That was pretty cool. I really like that, and I, 
I feel like they're going to get better at this in the future, too. I think they just need better hardware, too. And with the Switch 2, I just said the word 2 a lot, but the Switch 2nd, I'll call it, will have better hardware. So hopefully the Pokemon games will look and perform a lot better. I I know it's hard to say, like, it's hard to blame why Scarlet and Violet ran the way it did because it was on a, the regular Nintendo Switch when Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild looks amazing. And there are plenty of other games on the Switch that look and run amazing. I don't know. Let's just let's just hope for the best. I, I genuinely am pretty hopeful for the future. I feel like the modern Pokemon games lack that exploration feeling. Like, they kind of do have that feeling of like, oh, I want to go explore this. But at the same time, it's like with the barrenness of... Is that even a word? Barrenness? With the barren wasteland around you, it almost feels like, okay, this is kind of getting boring already. I just want to get on with the storyline. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's just me. Or if that's a popular theory out there but i feel like the routes in pokemon games have been just kind of boring there's no reason to it almost walking into a cave which i hate the caves in pokemon games but i can't i can't deny that there's some sort of exciting feeling about you getting through that cave on the other end successfully but nowadays it's like i feel like that's just, it's just so much easier another huge issue is i feel like legendary pokemon don't hit the same anymore Especially with their designs. Like, Cordon and Marinon are not good designs in my opinion. I, I kind of like them, but overall I don't think their designs are that great. And they just don't feel as special. I want a legendary Pokemon how... Like, I want to go back to the days where a legendary Pokemon felt so cool to see. It's like, oh my gosh, there's the legendary right there. That's epic. Or like some epic cutscene with it. I feel like Legends Arceus actually did a pretty good job about you know, introducing Arceus and Giratina in it. I feel like I'm giving a lot of praise to Legends Arceus, but I feel like they just did a lot of things right with that game, even though it did kind of feel a little barren at some times. I just really like that game, and I feel like that's where they need to go more towards in that direction. Alongside that, like, the Pokemon stories just haven't felt as compelling. Like, Scarlet and Violet story was kind of cool, you know, with, like, the robot and the future stuff. I do like the time travel stuff aspect of that, but I don't know. I can't help but feel like it's just too childish. It's too kiddish. And it's like, I get that the Pokemon franchise is pretty much for kids, but literally, I mean, but if you're thinking about it, most of the player player base, like the people that play it are probably in their 20s to 30s. Like the people that grew up with Pokemon are probably the majority of people that are actually buying Pokemon. It's, you know, I can't help but feel like it needs to be a little bit more grown up, but I'm going to go back to Legends Arceus. Once again, I can't help but feel that Legends Arceus was a little bit more grown up than Scarlet and Violet or Sword and Shield. Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl was fine, whatever, you know, those, in my opinion, those games were just meh, you know what I'm saying, like, they weren't bad, but they weren't great, I thought, you know, they were, they were fine, whatever, but Scarlet and Violet felt so childish to me, a lot of times I found myself just skipping through the dialogue, and I was like, oh, crap, I don't want to listen to this, or I don't want to see this, or listen to this character whine again, it was just annoying, but overall, I genuinely do have hope for the future of this franchise and the video games. I do think they're going in a good direction, and recently they announced that they're going to kind of slow down production and stuff like that, which is great. I really do feel like they're going in a positive direction, and I feel like with the Switch 2nd or Switch 2, whatever they're going to call that, that console coming out, I really think that's going to give them more initiative to like do better with the graphics, the hardware side of things, the way that things look, the cinematics, the designs, the animations, and all that. And I think that Pokemon Works, that subsidiary company, is going to help a lot with whatever Ilka creates in the future. I feel like Ilka is going to make the black and white games. That's my, my theory. But overall, Pokemon definitely has some issues with our modern day games. But I just think it's all experimental. I think they just didn't want to go continue with the 2D, the, such a linear style, animations, and just play style. And I think that they're going in a good route and a good direction because obviously... Things usually have to get worse before they get better. And I know it stinks that it's like with the Pokemon franchise, which is like so many people's favorite franchise out there, that there are so many issues with the games. But Scarlet and Violet overall, in my opinion, was still really fun. I still really enjoyed playing those games. I have like 50 or 60 hours in those games. I bought the DLC. I thought the DLC was really fun. So it's not like they're bad games by any means. I just mean... They just don't have that specific magic that they used to in the past. They just don't have that specific feel. And I feel like some of the choices I don't agree with so much now than in like the generations one through five. I just don't and I just don't agree with a lot of the random stuff they do 
but like I said, it's experimental. Every single Switch game has been so much different than the last, and I think they're going in a good direction. I'm really hopeful for the future, and it may not even be great with the next Pokemon game. Legend ZA, who knows when that's coming out? It's coming out next year, but like, who knows specifically? And I don't even know if it's coming on the Switch 1 or the Switch 2. My theory is the Switch 2, but who knows? But I, I feel like that is going to be a good game. I think Generation 6 was a great generation. I think it was our last, in my opinion, Generation 6 is the last, like, really good storyline. I think the lore around Gen 6 is really interesting. So I'm pretty hopeful for Legends EA. And I'm also pretty hopeful for Generation 10 because it's Generation 10. It has to be huge and it has to be really good. And it's also probably going to come out on the 30th anniversary of Pokemon. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts. Once again, guys, I'm not trying to hate on the franchise or brand or bash it or anything like that. I genuinely really like the franchise. And I just have to reiterate again that I'm, I'm hopeful for the future of the Pokemon franchise as a whole. But hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.